Hi, it's Anna Mason. In this video, I'm going to look at how it is you can know if it's time to give up learning to paint or anything else for that matter. It was Winston Churchill who's known for saying, Never give in, never give in, never, never, never. In nothing, great or small, large or petty, never give in. But in the less quoted second part, he actually followed up with, Except the convictions of honour and good sense. And of course, there are things that we should quit, like a destructive marriage or friendship. The art of letting go with grace is certainly one to master. But if you're thinking you should give up on something, like painting as a hobby, it can be really tricky to discern whether that desire to quit is born of Churchill's convictions of honour and good sense, or perhaps just from some negative thinking on behalf of your small self. I had an experience of this last year. My husband Phil and I decided to try playing squash, which is like racquetball, for health but mainly for fun. Phil's always been sporty, but I really haven't been and I hadn't done any sports since I was at school. But I had a glimmer of a memory of really enjoying badminton at school, which is why I thought squash could be fun. The moment I got on the court, strangely I wasn't the perfect pro. I struggled to even hit the ball and I certainly didn't send it where I wanted it to go. About 15 minutes in, my mind started reacting to this and saying things like, I shouldn't even try. I'm just not a sporty person. I'll never get good at this. This is a total waste of time. But these days, I'm more aware of a key fact. I have a mind, but I am not my mind. So I stopped and I asked myself if I could be sure that these thoughts were really true. And luckily I had Phil there with me to remind me that for a first ever go, I was actually doing just fine and that I would get better with practice. So I tried to answer those negative thoughts I was having by telling them to relax. I was just learning and it didn't matter if I wasn't good yet. After I got home, I also took a moment to think about how I would feel if I did quit. Taking time to still the inner voice and see what feelings came up in my body when I thought of quitting. And in this case, the thought of quitting was frustrating, disappointing and upsetting. So I knew it wasn't the right thing to do at that time. If I'd been greeted by a feeling of genuine calmness, peacefulness and joyfulness at the thought of quitting, then that would be a different story. That's almost always a sign that quitting is the right thing to do. So if you've been struggling to learn to paint for a while and have found yourself wondering if you should just quit, I recommend you don't listen to whatever it is your mind is chucking up about the issue. And you don't make a decision in the heat of a stressful moment with your paintbrush. Instead, take 15 minutes or so to really quieten that mind, take your focus inwards, otherwise known as using your intuition, and find out how you'd really feel if you were to quit. Relieved, calm, peaceful, joyful, or self-pitying, frustrated, sad, or annoyed. Unless it's the former, it's likely that what you really need to do is give yourself more structured practice time, whilst crucially working on being kinder and more forgiving to yourself about the progress you do make. And as for me, I went on to become the county squash champion in 2016. Not really, I'm still far from great, but I did improve within less time than I thought, and more importantly, I really enjoy having a game. If you've got an experience of quitting or not quitting that you'd like to share, the best conversations happen in the comments under the video at animationart.com, where you'll also find loads more resources to help you pick up your brush and paint the way you've always wanted to. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and do share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. How was that?